Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kiriath, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Age of Conan. No, we're not. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kiriath, and today we're going to talk about Conan Exiles and Ark Survival Evolved. Now, until recently, I'd only ever played Conan Exiles, and I hadn't played that much of it either, only a couple of hours. Just enough to sort of, you know, dip my toe in the water, see if I liked it. I quite enjoyed it. And I noticed that for the past week or so, I believe, Ark Survival Evolved was on offer on Steam. Now, I've never tried the game before, I never bought it before. I still am not entirely convinced with their practice of releasing DLC whilst the game is still in early access. I, I'm not a, a particular fan of that method of raising money. But to be honest, part of me just thought, I, I feel like I need a second experience, like a something to contrast and compare Conan Exiles to, because... In terms of survival, kind of crafting open world games, I just don't have any experience of the genre. I just don't play it. I mean, I've messed around in Minecraft, yeah, but that's it. I can't think of anything else I've played that is really like that. So I thought Ark Survival Evolved would be quite a good way to compare and contrast two games in a, well, in the same genre. Um, and I have to admit, I'm kind of... I'm surprised and not surprised all at the same time, and that's going to sound very weird, but just, just bear with me a moment. So, in Conan Exiles, you start out, you've got nothing. That's pretty standard. You run around picking up branches and sticks off the floor, you make your first tools. As you make tools and as you explore and as you fight, you earn levels. That allows you to increase your stats, and you gain the ability to learn new recipes. That's, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty... From what I can tell and from what I've, uh, I've I've looked at, that's pretty pretty standard. Um, that seems to be how a lot of these games go. You have to unlock stuff as you progress. Fine, no problem. Ark Survival Evolved, funnily enough, is absolutely identical. Now, obviously, Ark Survival Evolved came out before um, Conan Exiles, and obviously there will have been games before Ark that, that did it as well, but just for the purposes of this video, we're just going to compare the two. So, Ark Survival Evolved is also in early access. It's been out for quite a long time. It's it's you know it's had plenty of work done on it. It's it's nowhere near in the early stages uh, as much as Conan Exiles is. But I've got to be honest, I kind of I feel like having played both of these games, there's literally no point in playing any others. Like uh, my I, I kind of thought, well, maybe I should try Rust at some point as well. Maybe I should look into things like... I mean, The Forest is another one. Um, and, and you know what? <laughs> I don't know if there's any point. Like, I genuinely don't know if there's any point in playing more than one of these of these crafting open-world survival games. And I'm not saying that to sort of be like, oh, yeah, oh, look at him trying to stir up controversy. The, the similarities between these two titles, and therefore I can only assume the similarity, Jesus Christ, quite a hard word to say, between these titles and others of the same genre, I don't see how you would go about making a game like these games any other way. So you run around, you hit E to pick up stones off the floor to get things like berries and fibre and other stuff. You you press E next to plants to get wood, you chop down trees to get stone, you mine stone with a pickaxe. I could be talking about either one of, of the two games that I've played in this last week in this genre. I, I, it could be either. It could be either one. You can pretty much virtually completely interchange Conan Exiles and Ark Survival Evolved so far from what I've played of them. Now, no, I don't have a vast amount of experience in either game, but when you start something out and you immediately know exactly what you're doing, that I don't get that experience that often in other games. Now you could say, oh, well, that's not right, because when you're playing first-person shooters, you do this. When you're playing strategy games, you do that. Yeah, there is a, a core of similarity in terms of these are the same genre, and so they have to sort of go the same way. There are exceptions to that, but I feel it's like <laughs> for Conan Exiles and Ark Survival Evolved, my experience of them, they are so similar that I feel like I could be playing either. Like, feasibly, I could load up one or the other, and yes, Ark has got dinosaurs, just let's put that to one side for a moment, and I could be playing either one. Like, you really could be playing either one. The way you construct your your bases is exactly the same, like your homes, the way you construct weapons and clothes and all of that is exactly the same. The only, like... 
distinct difference that I could find between the two was that Ark Survival of Old have got dinosaurs. I mean, Conan Exiles have got weird monsters, and there's NPCs that'll mess you up. So, there's still enemies, but of course, Ark has got that added thing of being able to tame dinosaurs and have them follow you around as a little pet. Which is pretty cool. I quite like it. Um, it took us, like, <laughs> I want to say, like, an hour and a half, two hours before we even tamed a dinosaur, because we were too busy getting murdered and killing each other. But, that, that kind of, admittedly significant difference aside... In terms of crafting, in terms of spending ability points, in terms of the like the progression that you go through, um, from a, a character with nothing to a character that has a small home with a bed in it, so that you you know when you respawn you don't end up somewhere random. All of these things are similar to a point that I've I just haven't really experienced in other games outside of it being a follow on from the same franchise. So like. Say, I mean, GTA Five is very similar to GTA Four. There are some differences, but you know, they are they are GTA games. One Assassin's Creed is not hugely different to another. You know, when you when you're looking at series a series of games where there are different titles in the same long franchise, actually having those similarities is to be expected. But I wouldn't say that loading up Call of Duty is the same as loading up. Battlefield. I wouldn't say that loading up StarCraft 2 is the same as loading up Age of Empires 2 or Supreme Commander. I wouldn't say that loading up Star Citizen is the same as loading up Elite Dangerous. Whereas loading up Ark Survival Evolved and loading up Conan Exiles, I, I can't help but feel from my, as I keep saying, and I'm determined to push this home because I know there's going to be someone who goes, oh, well, you've hardly played either of them. That just, I know that. <laughs> That's why I keep saying it. In my experience of them so far, the similarities vastly outweigh the differences. I mean, they look similar, they play almost identically, and in a way, it's kind of made me... I'm not going to say disappointed, I'm not going to say that I feel that the genre itself is pointless, but it has... It has almost completely removed any desire to play any other games in this genre because I don't see how they can be different. When I actually started like working out what I was going to say for this video and how I was going to put things and writing down a few notes, I kind of started out by being a bit harsh. I, I was basically saying that while I did enjoy Conan Exiles, clearly it's just a ripoff. But I don't think that's entirely fair because honestly, whilst it is almost unsettling just how just how samey the two titles are when you when you compare them next to each other when you play them one after the other which is what I did I also have to admit that I have no idea how you would do it any other way I, I feel like you are almost completely limited in terms of what setting you can use um, what sort of technology you can create. I mean, I understand Ark Survivor Evolved gets a lot more advanced as you get on. But, let's be honest, if you're making an open world survival crafting game where your character gets stronger as you go on, where you have to find shelter, food, get better technology, you know, create better weapons, create better hunting equipment, where, like, how else would you even do it? And that's, that's, that's a genuine question. I don't know how else you would do it other than in the environment in which Conan and Ark both both take place. Because you've got this, this inbuilt need to kind of start out from a primitive standpoint. That's part of the progression of the game. That's a huge part of the progression of the game. I, I know that. But that in mind, what else can you do? Like, at first I thought to myself, oh man, Conan Exiles, I like that game, but it just feels like a rip-off now. I don't, that, you know, I, I started to feel a lot more disappointed, um, as though there was less effort made on it, as though, you know, as though basically someone had tried to sell me something that was a direct copy of something else. But looking back and thinking about it, and actually sitting down and, you know, noting down similarities and differences and stuff... I just don't understand how you could do it any other way. I think this might be the uh, one of the few genres I've come across where 
I don't know how else you would do it. Because the very nature of the game kind of requires you to be similar to other games. Like, I've seen videos of the forest, for instance. Um, that's the one where there's crazy cannibals everywhere. I'm pretty sure it's called the forest. And funnily enough, there is quite a bit of chopping down wood. There is quite a bit of building shelters, so on and so forth. I've seen videos of Rust. Looks, again, incredibly similar. And I've played these two. And there's just no other setting I can think of where you could do it. If you look at other genres, like... The FPS genre, you can go wherever you like with it, basically. And there's been some mad shit done with FPS games. You can do whatever the, you can do whatever the hell you want. Puzzle games, exactly the same. Um, strategy games, I mean, I already mentioned Star loading up StarCraft 2, Age of Empires 2, or Supreme Commander. Those are three vastly different games within the same subgroup of games. But the settings are totally different. The units are totally different. The way they play... In, are, are, are totally different. When it comes to a crafting survival game, like an open world crafting survival game, where could you even go to get that experience? Even if it was, I mean, no matter where you went, you would have to start out basic. I mean, yeah, you could rename the trees to pylons and you could collect some sort of alien crafting material, but you'd still have to create the tools to get that material, and the tools would still be remarkably similar to if it was just a tree and you were making a stone hatchet and a stone pick. You could do all kinds of stuff in terms of, you know, materials for building, but at the end of the day, you would still be collecting materials in exactly the same way to build exactly the same kind of shelter, except maybe it might look like Far Cry Blood Dragon instead of it being a nice sandy beach with some water next to a forest like i don't understand where else you could go and it's actually made me kind of i don't know it, it it's it's kind of it's dulled my enthusiasm for trying out other titles of the same genre because i i can't help but feel after the experience of playing Conan exiles and then arc straight after that they're just gonna feel pretty much exactly the same but on the other hand it's kind of opened my eyes a bit to the challenge of how they're going to make Conan different? Like, how are you going to make a game like these games that isn't like these games? I, 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 it's a really interesting thing to think about because this is clearly a popular genre to go to go down the route of. Like, it, it, people obviously like it. It's got a huge number. These games have huge numbers of players. They're very popular for streaming. They're very popular for YouTube series. They're not going anywhere. But how do you evolve this? Like, how do you actually improve this so it's not, not a copy, but so that it's not incredibly similar to titles that are already out? I don't have the answer to that at all. Like, I don't know how you would make a game like Ark, like Rust, like The Forest, like Conan Exiles, without making a game that is like those games. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I know there's things like, I think Space Engineers is, is one of them, but that's slightly different, I think, I, from what I know. It's not quite, it's a similar concept, but not really. It's it's only similar in the most vague ways. Whereas if you are going for the open world survival crafting experience, where do you go? How do you make it different? How do you stand out? How do you make it so that you don't load up one of the existing games, then load up the new one and go, I feel like I was just here. It's It's such a strange experience to have because I don't think I've ever experienced it before I've gone from one Assassin's Creed to another Assassin's Creed and gone oh well I'm glad the graphics are a bit better because I forgot which one I was in but those are like a series in the same franchise that have the same basic gameplay every time and it's expected of them because that's what those games are I've never had an experience before where I've loaded up one game stopped playing it, loaded up another game and found myself essentially still playing the first game, if that makes sense. So that's my question to you. That's what I want to know, actually. How do you think people can make things different? How do you think developers or publishers could make a game that is an open-world survival crafting game but that is not like any of the open-world survival crafting games we currently have? How do you do that? How do you implement it? I would love to know what you think about this because this has kind of opened my eyes to an aspect of of gaming that before I hadn't really touched on and I hadn't had any experience in. So it would be really interesting to see what you think. And also, do you think Conan Exiles is just being a ripoff? 
or do you agree with me that actually there's no other way to do it? If you're going to make this kind of game, how else do you make it without in some way copying an existing title? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, then like the video, do the subscription thing and all that. And there will be somewhere on the screen uh, some sort of link to another video. You should probably click it. I'll see you next time. Toodaloo.